What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2 and the Ice Shroom is back available now in early access and I say he's back because he was in PvZ1 and if you remember, froze all the zombies on the board. Well here's the thing, you know Ice Bloom kind of took over his gig doing the same thing and using plant food on Iceberg Lettuce also does, does the same thing. So Ice Shroom has to do something new, this winter mint plant uh, smashes zombies in melee range and it's a chilling oil aura that both buffs nearby winter mint plants and chill zombies. So that's an interesting combo there. It's not easy reinventing yourself, says Ice Shroom, after returning from an intensive stint of training in the coldest parts of, of the Antarctic. It's not often you get a second chance, but I'm back now, and this time I won't be letting my fans or any of my friends down. Cheering erupts as Ice Shroom steps into the lawn. So, very cool plant food ability lobs several icicles at random zombies across the field. I want to see what it's like. It's kind of a costly plant, um, you know, sort of, 175. We'll see what happens. I uh, would love to level them up. Not going to happen this episode, of course. Um, especially because one more level and the attack range goes from one to two tiles. So, we'll see what he's like just as a level one. And uh, we'll take it across different eras in our adventure. And, uh, of course, we have some arena to do. We got a penny's pursuit to do. We got, a, you know, all sorts of stuff to do. Uh, but this episode is about the ice shroom, baby. And we'll start off with uh, one of my favorite stages <laughs> to showcase plants. Uh, and that would be um, Ancient Egypt here, day 23. We'll see if he can take out the graves. You know, we'll see if he can handle the fire, the flames, the heat. Um, so let's see what we got here. Let's just bring out some, some regulars. I, I want as much, you know, sun production as I can get because I'm going to be... You know, using the ice room. Uh, I might even imitate it, honestly. I just want to see what it's going to be like with just ice room. See if I can hold its own. It may be. And now, keep in mind, it also buffs winter plants. So, you know, we might try... Man, that'll be interesting. See how it does buffing winter plants. Let's bring in the winter mint as well. Is it called the winter mint? It is. Let's rock. So, let's drop this out here. Let's see what we can do. All the sun in the world. Still takes them some time to build up, I'm sure. All right, so ice shroom. Hold on, still focusing on the sun production aspect of this. All right, so how about one here? Whoa, that was ear piercing. So it makes the aura, and that aura kind of boosts winter plants. And it also chills. Whoa, that was quick. That was really quick. Now, okay. Well, I want to see this aura. How much of that was the aura and how much of that was him attacking? That was super quick. So that attack was brutally quick. How did he die so quick? Wow. Here, put down another one. So now we have a, a whole row. How quickly do they take care of graves? Pretty good. I'm just gonna, like I think, I'm gonna make a wall of ice cream. He said he won't disappoint us. So let's see if that's gonna remain true here. Whoa, that was instant death for those guys. Okay, let's see what happens with the fire here. I am curious about the fire. Okay, it puts out the fire, it takes him out instantly. This is only a level one. It's taking out these zombies so quick. What happens if we plant food? Oh, I do have it fast forwarded. I forgot about that. Uh, here, let's see if we can attack these guys. Those are brutal. All right. I'm enjoying this. Let's see how this wall. I definitely want to get this leveled up at least one more level. I don't know how I can do it so quick. It is taking a sign with the bucket heads. That's one thing, you know. And I also, I don't know how the Gargantuars are going to handle this. Um, let's see a little bit about the boost. Can we tell that's being boosted? I don't know if I can tell. Yeah, I don't know how I can tell. We'll see. I just kind of want to see if the Ice Room by itself will take care of the Gargantuars. Oh, I already got him down pretty low. That imp had no chance. 
This is pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> All right. So, I guess what I would do... Hmm. All right, let's see if I can... Uh... Man, I don't know how I could showcase the boosting stuff because my ice plants just kill them so quickly anyway. Um... All right, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the Pirate Sea stage that I love to check out. Uh, specifically... Which stage is it? All the way over here. It's going to be uh, day 22, I believe. Mm-hmm. I imagine this is going to go really well. The problem is they won't attack the cannons by themselves. But I'm just going to plant them and see what happens. All right, let's rock. Let's see what's up. Now, obviously, they're not going to be able to attack the cannon, so we're going to have to just rely on them taking out the imps instantly as they fly in the range, which is really cool. Yeah, I like I like that a lot. But we're going to have to see how what happens with the pirates swing in. We're going to have to see what happens when... Oh, they're already slowed. Dead instantly. Okay. So these are so powerful that they take care of weak zombies really quick. Hmm. Dead. Yeah, no joke. Now if only I could, you know, attack. This is so obvious that I'm gonna win this one. They're not even getting any bites off of these. And like I said, you know, I, I, I do this every time I showcase a plant. I think this is a good stage to show how a lot of the same plants could deal with a large amount of weak zombies. And I kind of treat this as a farming stage because if you just like set it and forget it, uh, you know, coins and gems might pop up. Of course, if we had something where we were like... Uh, you know, trying to showcase how, uh... Yeah, there's no way I'm losing this. Here, let me uh, let me attack some of these bat cannons. Eh, that wasn't really worth it either. That didn't do enough. I was kind of just trying to get past this quickly now that we... We pretty much know the entire story. There's no... There's... <laughs> there, that, it, it's so formidable. As a melee defense, it's like almost like a wall like you, that you cannot penetrate. Except unless you had stronger zombies. But with weaker zombies, they're just instantly dead. That's incredible. That's incredible. Wow. Wow. I mean, look at that. What more do you want? I kind of need to showcase how they deal with, um... You, you almost just have to take your word for it. These, this will boost, uh... This will boost other plants. Alright, I kind of want to showcase how it'll boost plants. So let's, let's do a rematch. I think the winter melons will already take care of them anyway. But I want to see how it will, how it, it'll boost them, and I don't even know if it'll be the best test in the world. Let me go back in. Um, I don't know. Winter melons. What else is ice based? We never got an ice vine, did we? This might be the closest we get to an ice vine in the sense that the vines kind of boost everything too. Let's rock. All right, so. I'm only gonna do that. 
and see if the boosted uh, winter melons are enough to take care of uh, everything here. And they probably are by themselves, but we'll do a test. Well, that was one hit. Huh, okay. Two hits for the cannons, okay. So we know now the, the winter melon takes, it takes two hits from the winter melons. Two direct hits. Let's fast forward a little bit. There you go. So it takes two hits. We're taking care of these guys pretty quick before the EMCs even pop out. And you were already quickly through this. That's what I meant by kind of a farming stage. Yeah. All right, got him. Got him. Interesting. Now, how much would it take just a winter melon, just a single one, like without the boosted? Is it still two or is it three? Because I don't even know. I don't know how much of a boost that was. Uh, so let's let's do a test. That's what we got to do. We got to test it. Um, going back in one more time, and my apologies, but this won't really be an ice cream thing. I just want to see the winter melon by itself, and then we'll leave. We, you know, we'll just exit. We'll quit. Whatever. Out of here. I'm just curious. If it's still two, then I don't know. I don't know how to explain how much how much boost this is giving. Of course, it's only a level one. Ice room, so I can't really know. There's one hit. Two. Three. Four. Five. So four or five. Uh, that's a pretty significant boost. Honestly, that's a great boost. Because that was... I, I don't know if I count it right. Like, I don't know if it was a direct hit. Um, but wow. That's actually a pretty significant boost. So... Um, I'm glad I did that test, because I, I wouldn't have known otherwise. So, um, so far, I'm pretty ha happy with this. Frostbite Caves, of course. Uh, I'm assuming it's not going to freeze, but you never know until you test it. So, I'm going to bring it into Frostbite Caves and see how we do. On day 26, I believe, is the stage that I like the best for testing purposes, because um, everything's already frozen. The main issue is that I need to defrost things too. And I need sun production. So let's bring in the hot potato. And then I think we're good. I'll bring in gold bloom as well. All right, let's see. So they did not disappoint with this one. Because I was kind of worried. I was like, well, if they bring it back, a beloved classic, how are they going to improve it or make it better? And they actually did. So that's good for us. All right. Then once this freezes, you know, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. In the sense that I won't really have the sun anymore. But we need one more. So that was just a one hit right there wow all right let's see how we do great unleash that didn't really target anybody but and of course these things are not freezing that would be a massive oversight if they were freezing Let's do the, the mint. Even more powerful than before. Yeah, of course, the weasels are no match. Yeah, I mean, these are great. These are great. I don't really have any complaints. I'm going to push in and just try to get this over with quicker by putting them more and more on the front lines. Here we go. All 
Wow. Final wave coming through. Now these guys with the ice block heads, they don't stand a huge chance. I am having to replenish some of them on the bottom row. But that, I mean, that's for a level one plant, that is super strong. And for only being able to attack one ahead, if I had it at a level two, it would attack two ahead. Pretty incredible to think about. I would love to see that as a level 10. That's such a strong plant. Um, the other thing I could think about to test, I mean, I think Dark Ages is a given that we're going to easily win that one. But I would love to know for sure. Um, and I guess Big Wave Beach would be another thing to test because I would put them out there with the on the lily pads, probably. So, Dark Ages, so, so short. 16 is the day I like to do. Uh, but let's see what we got because this is this is quite fantastic um, Let's see uh, Yeah, we're good. We're good Again, I think I'm just gonna try this out. I, I let me bring in gold bloom. I mean I, I I do admit one reason I'm able to kind of showcase this as well as I am is it is that I am bringing in a lot of Sun production So I'm able to get these out. And I have it imitated, so I'm able to put them out quickly. I'm probably going to need to attack the graves that they put, because, because I don't want to get, uh, what is it called that, that happens? Necromancied. But I'm putting these so close because I know that uh, we're going to have to deal. Okay, yeah, we got graves coming up. So how long does that king last, you think? So we already got necromancy, so I'm gonna put this here. And then I'm gonna try here. That was a good hit. Alright, we need uh we need to put one in the middle there, and I will. I don't even think the wizards are able to respawn soon enough. Oh, we got him. Here. The king doesn't even live that long, so that's also great. Now, the problem, of course, is what happens when he is... So, the, here's, a, here's a one issue I'm seeing is that we are not able to kind of attack him directly. If that makes sense. You see, like, now there's no line of defense against this wizard. I need to somehow take out this wizard, but he's busy transforming things. So that's a little tough to deal with, but that's okay. We'll, we'll probably get it. Hit him with the blast really quick. All right. Hold on. There. The wizard will be going down soon. And then everything will free up, and then we'll be good to go. Got him. So now all the sheep are going to trans transform back into... Uh, these and take out the kings. And we got him. Now we just have this goober left. Got him too. Yeah, I mean, it was good. So you do have to worry about, you know, if, you are, if you're only using these, which honestly, why would you ever only use these? You would probably, let me, let me do a more full strategy on something like, um, Big Wave Beach. I'll bring in the Ice Peas. And I think we're going to totally decimate them. In fact, let me do, let me try that. I don't even worry about putting them out there in the water. I'll just put them next to some Ice Pea Shooters. And I think that will be really solid on Big Wave Beach. Let's see. That will be a more comprehensive strategy. So let me bring that in. This is going to be fun. I can tell you that. I think, I think we're going to win pretty easily with this. That's how strong and how confident... That's how strong the ice room is and how confident I am that we'll win. I don't remember if day 28 is the one we do. Been doing this for years. Yeah, I'll be fine. All right, so the tricky part of this is I do want the sun production, but I don't want to lose the sun. So I don't want to lose the items. So, um... If I have enough resources, I will get this. Um, 
And then I uh, we're gonna bring in ice pea shooters. I might I might be by be strained by the lack of sun on the stage, but shouldn't be a big deal. Let's bring in whatever else. Yeah, whatever. Oh, no lily pads. Three pick. Fine. I'll bring in a lily pad. All right. Let's see. All right. Okay. We have a lot of sun. I'm going to start off here. I mean, just this alone would be pretty good. But we're really going to go for it with these guys. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good job there. I'm having to try to play catch up here, so. Hold on one second. I need more sun. There you go. Give it here. Uh, there you go. This should be good. This should be devastating. I'm hitting the fisherman. I need more sun. This seems pretty good. Those fishermen are gone. Don't eat that. Did he eat something already? That was so, so, so good. Uh, so really, we're just waiting for these guys to pop up. Boom! That can actually hit them. That's so good. There you go. There you go. Look at how good the strategy is for me right now. Oh, jeez. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Big launch. Big launch. Look at that. Wow. Everyone's basically gone. Just for a little uniformity, I'm going to dig this up. I know it counts as losing a plant, but that's okay. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We need this. That was good. That was good. They're, they don't really have much of a chance. With this combo, this is a really good combo. Wow. Wow. This ice shroom, I'm telling you, it's a. It, not only is it good on its own, it's good as a boost to the other ice plants. Because I, I always thought the ice plants, especially the winter melon, was a little lacking. Because I used to use winter melon all the time. I don't know if you guys remember this, but way back when, I used to use it like all the time. But I think the, I think the ice cream is a great plant. I really do. Come back next time for more. We got a lot more to showcase this week. I'll see you then. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.